Um, let me make fun of myself now for making fun of the world. Okay. So, have you ever done something where you just lose any and all confidence in how to operate in day to day activities that you should just not even think, like walking or chewing? Like you just, you're like I don't even have to think about walking, and then you just fuck up so royally. You're like, should I not be confident in how I? I was eating chicken, just chicken breast, because I'm in this weight loss bet, and time's ticking down. Mm -hmm. It's less than a month now, right? Okay. What are you at? I don't want to talk about it. All right. It's not good. (laughs) I'm going to be like anorexic for three weeks to be able to beat this guy, but it's going to be, it's going to suck, but I got to get the $500 because I need to fix my truck and a bunch of other shit that's happening. (laughs) You got to pay off your street sweeping tickets. Yeah, dude. (laughs) I don't know, but so I'm eating chicken breast by myself and watching Seinfeld as white people do. (laughs) And I just, I'm doing the thing where I don't have a plate. It's like I had a Tupperware because I did the meal prep. Oh. So it's just a big chicken breast like on a fork. Like, you know, you stab it in the middle and you just like eat, eat around. around it. <laughs> yeah. Like I'm so white trash, dude. It's so bad. So I'm eating around it and I'm getting close to the end. And I, you don't realize how hard you bite until oh. you bite something on accident. And oh. I bit the very tip of the fork. Okay. That is the worst experience of your life. Dude. But it's so I hate that. And it sounds like a glacier cracking, like in my <laughs> mouth, like because it's attached to my skull. So I bite and you're like, oh, like it wasn't like when you bite your cheek and it's painful. It was painful, but the sound. It's a it's shock. Like, like you could, f- it sounded like my tooth split in half. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my gosh. And I'm just like, I, I stand up and I could feel the weight of the shame immediately. Like I just bit a fork. Like I don't know how to eat food. You were alone, alone in the, you, in the living room in the next and room. And you over. got up because you were so embarrassed. I got up because I was like, for sure, my tooth is gone. <laughs> like that's how bad it was. And so I go to the <laughs> restroom to look in the mirror, and sure enough, the corner of that front tooth, right there, you see it. Uh huh. That chipped off, and there's a crack in my front tooth. No. Like, I just bit into a fucking piece of metal and cracked my tooth. It was the first thing I noticed when I walked in. Yeah, for sure. It's not I'm that bad. But I'm kidding. I can I feel can, it. I can't tell. So, see right there? That corner? This is a visual yeah. you know, visual you podcast now. So this you have tooth. To... See the corner? Uh-huh. How it's, like, squared off? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I can not, see it. Okay, I don't think the camera can pick that up. No, but <laughs> you can pick up how how embarrassed I am. So now I'm, I literally, I, like I said, I'm by myself. So it wasn't like, hey, party's over, <laughs> like everybody leave. I was just by, like, what do you do? You just go sit back down. <laughs> and I didn't finish the chicken. Like all of a sudden, I was super unhungry because I was. But and so now it comes to this point of like, well, that's my front tooth. Like I gotta get it fixed. And this is super embarrassing, but I haven't been to the dentist in a very long time because mm-hmm. I don't have any pain. And I kind of look at my teeth and I'm like, it doesn't look like anything really is gnarly happening. Yeah. And I just procrastinate a lot. I think that's most adults. And it's one of those things where it's like, I need to go. And then you just never make the appointment mm-hmm. because nothing's bad. You know, nothing was like, okay, now I really need to go. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, with COVID too, I was like, yeah. COVID, yeah. Well, I want to just sit there with my mouth wide open. What's a long time for you to not go to the dentist? Two years. Okay, this one's going to hurt, dude. This one's going to hurt me. No, let me rephrase that. <laughs> dude, this when I missed my six-month appointment. Six months in one day. Are you are you saying that just because now it's public? Yes. Okay, so two years for you. Two years no, for you is six like... six months in one day. Okay, fuck you. Okay. <laughs> it's already going to hurt a lot for me because it's super embarrassing. All right, so uh, I've been in the union for seven and a half years now. And it was like a year or two before I got in the union. It's the last time I went to the dentist. So I'm coming up on like nine to ten years. So like, like high, high school graduation? Basically like since I've been an adult. Because <laughs> I've never got, I've never made an appointment as an adult. Let me put it that way. Last time I went was like when I went with my mom. Okay. Wow. And I'm 28. <laughs> okay. So it's, I'm embarrassed to say that, but I've never really, you know. I don't know. I haven't really come into things where it's been a problem. Any girl you're going to date, you really got to hope she does not listen to this episode. That's why I waited till like, it's going to be in the middle. Like, it's, <laughs> she's not going to be able to get to the end, and she's going to have to listen to the whole uh. fucking show. But, and it's super embarrassing. But like I said, so I went in there, you know, and I was like, how, I mean, 
nobody see they're perfect, but I was like, I don't see any huge. Speak for yourself. Yeah, okay. But I don't see any huge, like, I mean, I'm sure there is. Okay, and now I'm going to shit on the dentist industry. So I figure out how, like, my insurance works, and I go, I go and make this appointment, mm-hmm. okay? And it's, like, two weeks out. So now I got to have this chipped tooth for, like, two weeks. And it's La Mirada, uh, La Mirada Family Dentistry. Okay. So Spon- Sponsored by La Mirada Family Dentistry. 100%. Well, they're going to hate me for this, but <laughs> okay. So I go there, or two weeks goes by. I have to like, the only time I can get, I have to leave work at like lunch, like take off a couple hours early. Mm-hmm. Appointments at three o'clock. Get there 20 minutes early. They're pouring concrete out front, so I got to like walk around. You know, when you get out of your car, then you have to get back in and then drive around and park and then go in there. Yes. And like I said, it's the first time I've used this insurance. I'm like, hey, I believe this is how this works. And they're like, all right, fill this out. And like fill out all this paperwork. And they're like, we don't see you here. I'm like, this is La Mirada family, family Dentistry, right? So they call my insurance to figure it out. And they're like, oh, you're looking for La Mirada Family Dentistry. I'm like, that's what it says out front. And they're like, we're La Mirada Family Dentist. <laughs> you, okay. I'm so, so pissed, dude. I'm like, are you fucking serious? They're like, yeah, they're right down the road. You're looking for La Mirada Family Dentistry. Because I just Googled like La Mirada Family Dentist, and it's like, that's where it is. Right. It's right down the street. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do you... And then this is like two days after I found my truck, by the way. This is like, I, life is just, and this is like two weeks after the wedding. This, uh, Dude, I'm just getting shit on. So life. you've been roasted by a chick. You found your truck. With like $1,000 in street sweeping tickets attached to it. Uh, chipped my tooth chipped on tooth. a fork. Not yeah. like I got in a fight or I was like riding dirt bikes. It was like I was sitting on a couch <laughs> and just bit into a fork. <laughs> okay. It's like the most... Like you just feel the weight. It's like when somebody puts a like an adult sized jacket on a kid and they can like barely hold themselves <laughs> up. That's the weight of the shame of like not. Nah, like when when I was biting into things for like two days straight, mm-hmm. I was so nervous about like biting <laughs> the wrong thing. Okay, so anyways, now I'm like, all right. She's like, yeah, it's right down the street next to the Home Depot. It's like five minutes away. So I got a five ten minutes away. So I got a bust ass. Now I'm late. I'm like fifteen minutes late. And I'm going to be so pissed if they, like, don't allow me to come in or something because I just left work early. So it's like you already lost money by leaving work, and now you're – because there's a family dentist two minutes down the road from a family dentistry. You know what I mean? Like, oh, my gosh. So I go in there, and I can tell the way this woman told me, like, oh, you're at the wrong place, that it's happened before. She's Mm -hmm. like, you're looking for this. It's right down here. I go into this place, the second place. And I'm like, I'm super sorry. I Can you believe it? I actually went to La Mirada Family Dentist, and I didn't realize that's why I'm late. I apologize. And they're looking at me like I'm a crazy person. Like, they've never heard that in the first place. <laughs> so I'm like, okay. Oh, that's great. I just don't know how to handle myself as an adult, dude. And so, yada, yada, yada. I fill out all the paperwork. You know, they take you back. They do x-rays, and then they start looking at stuff and figuring out how what they're going to charge you and what work you need. And... They so the person that they're all cool and they're like doing the x-rays and again I'm aware that I haven't been for a long time so I'm like I don't know I, I, I went in there with three things I said obviously I need a deep cleaning because I haven't been in forever I didn't tell him how long it's been I just said it's been, it's been a minute it's been, <laughs> I didn't, a, been a minute I didn't want to tell him like hey I'm still a child and I haven't been in forever you know what I mean a minute as in 10 years yeah which is that I get that that's super embarrassing and I'm not gonna let that happen again so okay uh, I go in there. I'm like thinking it's going to be m- for sure three things. I need the front tooth that I chipped fixed, a deep cleaning, and then there's one other spot. There's like a molar thing that I got like as a kid that like a little piece chipped off. And this was like a couple years ago. Did you bite a spoon then or what? Uh, no, it was like <laughs> toffee peanuts. And I remember. Really? And I was sitting on the same couch when I broke it, dude. <laughs> that couch is not good for me. But okay. So I'm like, all right, they might find another thing or two. Because like I said, I look at my teeth, and I'm like, it's not like, wow, that's a brown tooth, and wow, that's fucked up, and mm-hmm. wow, you know, it's like, I don't have any pain. So I'm like, all right, maybe they find something else. And being a union electrician, our insurance is really pretty good. Like, it's yeah. rare that I ever get a big bill. You know what I mean? Like, through this whole accident, so far I've paid nothing but like 5 or $10 copays, you know? Mm-hmm. So she's like, uh, the, they take all this stuff, and then the actual dentist comes in, and he's there for like three minutes, like, all right, and there's a person on the side, and he's just 
calling out things that I need, and she's just writing the stuff down. Okay. Like, and the, the dude, Doctor, I'm going to have to go get another piece of paper. The dude is literally like this, that, this, that. Dude, the list. She and So then the manager, she's like, the manager will come back and we'll figure out what it's going to cost you because I'm like, how much is this all going to cost? And of course, they're like, we recommend, you know, this, right, yeah. which is like the most expensive way to do it, which, you know, you, you get. So I'm, I, had, I don't know. I was maybe 500 bucks I was going to have to spend. I don't know. I haven't been to the dentist. Okay. <laughs> I don't really know how this goes. But like I said, I have really good insurance. You know, I haven't used the dentistry one yet for my union, but Obviously. all my other experiences, it's been really well. They come back. Okay. And she goes, all right, cool. So it's like 20 things, which although they itemize it, so it's not like 20 operations that need to be done, but it's like, you know, met, like 20 costs, I would say. is like, because they, it's like a, everything has a code. So it's like 20 things. Mm-hmm. I don't want to make it sound like every single one of my teeth has to be replaced. That's not the <laughs> situation at all. But, you know, like for one cap, it would be like seven items on the list. Oh, you know I what I mean? Because it's like medicine distributed, this, that, this, that. Yeah. So there's like a huge list of stuff. But everything has a cost. And she goes, great news. Your insurance covered a lot. It'll be just over $3,000. And I was like, wow. I was not expecting that for one. And I'm like, okay. And I, here's the thing, though. I've heard so many guys... Coworkers, they go, yeah, I went in there and I just paid it. And it turns out that they overcharge you on purpose because nobody really knows like what your insurance covers. Right. So And so I'm like, okay, three grand. And on one hand, I go, all right, I've been in the dentist forever, so maybe. But on the other hand, I go, I don't have any pain. And like none of my teeth are falling out. And like none of my teeth are just brown to the core. So I'm like, what the fuck is it? She goes, yeah, it was actually 12 grand. Your insurance paid for this, so it's actually three grand. It was like $3,010. And I'm like... I go, you know what, let me, and I said it's super nice, and I was like, you know, I've actually, I'm super uneducated about the actual insurance and what it covers. I'd like to do my own homework if that's okay, if I can keep this printout of the costs with the codes attached to it and what you're charging me for per, per code. And I just want to do my own homework before I go and pull the trigger on this cost. And then and then I said, you know, like, also, for the three things that I know for sure that need to get fixed, and or the two things, and then the deep clean, I was like, how much is that? She's like, that's 1500 And so... I told her, I was like, you know what, never mind. And she's like, oh, you don't want any work done today? And I was like, no, nah, let me just do my own homework, and then we'll call you back. Yeah. And she's like, she was acting real suspicious. Like, oh, okay. And I told her, I was like, yeah, I've heard horror stories <laughs> about coworkers that just get super overcharged and like, because they don't know what their coverage actually does. I thought the insurance, though, it's like, you don't you hit a deductible limit or? Yeah, it covers so, well, I mean, well, hang on, so I'm getting there. Okay. Okay. So that was like Friday. Or did you only do like the same amount of insurance as your truck? <laughs> no, the insurance is like what I get through my union. Like I didn't pick the cheap option. It's really good insurance. <clears throat> but okay. So I go home like that weekend I'm looking into it. I try calling to confirm stuff. Of course my union insurance isn't open. The call center isn't open on the weekend. But the machine says like, you know, cuz you have to enter in like your member ID and blah 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 and it says like you have CA 10A or whatever the the code is like for my plan. Mhm. So I Google that and I Google like coverage and there's just like 10 page list of every single dental code and like what medicine and what operation and then what my cost is. So I'm like, motherfucker. And I was super excited because I brought a printer this year. I'm like, I'm printing every single one of these sheets out. Like use the ink. I was so excited. I felt like such a grown up. And uh, <laughs> dude, so I print every page out and I literally just go through with a highlighter and go one by one down her list. And like every item was way overcharged. Okay. And so now I'm like, I cannot wait. Wait, so, okay, hold on, because I'm confused, so maybe your <clears> listeners <throat> will be confused. So what you printed out was what they cover for each of those types of items or what the insurance expects, like, the going rate to be? What my coverage is. Or like, what I would pay. So, like, it would be, like, you know, item uh, 2943, and it would chrome over, and it would be $75. So, like, that's my payment. That's my copay. For that item or whatever it would be. Right. But are they overcharging you or are yes. they just Cause it would charging be, what they want? It would be that. No, they were overcharging me because originally the list of the chick that she was like full price for everything would have been like 12000 something. But after your insurance, it's 3010 And she gave me a list of all those codes and it says like a description of what it is and then what my cost would be and it added up to like a little over three grand. So then I went through on my insurance website. And I even called on Monday afterwards to confirm, like, that's the plan I'm on, right? Okay. And all your info on your website, 
of like the breakdown of costs, like and copays, that's accurate and up to date, right? She's like, yep. So it would be like the same code as on the printout that the dentist gave me. Let's say it was like $260 is what my after insurance cost would be. And I have to go find it. And I'm like, oh, it's only supposed to be $50 or sometimes no cost. And she was charging me like a hundred bucks for it. Mm. Like even just the deep clean, she's like, well, we charge per quadrant and your insurance covers this. So it's $50 per quadrant. So it's 200 bucks. And I look at mine and mine's four quadrants per year or, you know, 12 month period, whatever right, it said, yeah, yeah. is no cost. So I'm like, there's 200 bucks right there that they were going to charge me. Right. But what I'm saying is, is it the insurance will cover up to a certain dollar amount and then you cover everything after? And no. then at that point, it's just negotiable? No. So the what I found online is what my copay is, meaning unless, like I said, the deep cleaning, it's four quadrants per year or whatever, but most of them was just like, you're going to get this done. This is what you pay. And it did not oh, match the dentist, up. The dentist has no discretion on that. The Well, the dentist... Well, except in this situation when they're trying to the, overcharge. Well, the dentist can charge whatever they want but because they're approved through my insurance, but I'm only going to pay what my copay is. Do you know what I mean? Like, if you go to the mm. doctor's office and my copay is so five bucks... they're charging you on the copays, essentially. Yes. So I my see. copays okay, are... Okay, like, yeah. let's say on my insurance website, it says your copay is $50 for this item. And they were like, oh, you got to pay $260. That's your copay. So they were. Oh, I thought. Okay, okay, okay. So I they were way overcharging me. Got it. And I was like, I can't wait till Monday. I thought you were saying your insurance would only cover up to a dollar amount. And then no, every, no. But they, okay. So, yeah, it was. They were saying that my copays were way more. But they were basically like, your insurance, <laughs> after your insurance coverage is three grand. But then I looked at all my shit and it was way less. There was like six different items that weren't even on like my huge 10 page list of codes and it was like miscellaneous medicine and stuff like that but it'd be like 350 bucks i'm like what the fuck is that like you're just adding like you could just add that to anybody's bill and so uh with those like six different items that were just kind of random stuff i deducted that and it was like 600 bucks mm -hmm. after the copays and then even with that stuff so i was like all right even if i added everything it was like 1900 dollars. so i go At minimum you overcharged me like eleven hundred dollars and I was just like, okay, you know, this is me coming off of being shit on at a wedding. This is me coming off of being shit on by the law with, and watching it. You know what I mean? I'm just so excited to call them back and just be like, yeah, I actually added everything up. And, and because I've heard so many horror stories, this chick, this bitch did it on purpose. She was acting super suspicious after I was like, no, I'm not going to get any work done. I'm going to follow she up. Knew. And she knew. Like, she knew exactly uh, what the fuck she was doing. She Maybe knew she was going to get caught. Yes. Instead of just being like, all right, if that's what it costs, be like, and then the one guy that's like, all right, well, I'll wait on getting work done. I actually want to see what my coverage actually is. And mm -hmm. they're like, oh, fuck. And I go on Google, uh, Yelp, and there's like six reviews, and there's like half of them are people that are like one star. They're like, I got a second opinion. I didn't need half the work that this person did. And they wanted to charge me all this. So I'm like, okay. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Did you, did you Yelp them? I did not Yelp them, but I called her back. But you just, Drug them through the mud on your podcast. Well, I haven't gotten a second opinion yet. I got it booked, but it takes a couple of weeks. So, but I'm so excited if I get a second opinion in two weeks. And they're like, "Yeah, you, you know," and I'm you can be damn sure I'm taking that whole packet. And they're like, "This is what's <laughs> gonna cost." I'm like, "Well, let's go through the fucking list then, shall we?" Because when I called the chick back, I was I was like kind in the verbiage. I wasn't like, "Hey, what the fuck?" You know what I mean? Like I didn't just call her and put her on blast. But it's one of the, like, you know when you can feel people squirm if you use the right verbiage? Like, you're not being mean, but you're just telling you how it is. You're playing, uh... It's like a fuck you email, you know word, what I mean? What is it, uh, word digitsu or, uh... Kind of, yeah, like, uh, yeah, I get what you're saying. There's a term for it. Wordsmith? Yeah. No. Well, okay. <laughs> so I'm telling her this, and, uh, I was like, hey, I just want to call and confirm that there's been some kind of miscommunication about my, you know, I'm totally just, just... <laughs> just totally being a dick in a nice way. Like, I think there's some kind of miscommunication about the covers that I actually have. I've called uh, and confirmed and called again on Monday and actually spoke with a person that I do have CA 10 and whatever the hell the plan is. I've gone on their website and uh, printed out all of their pay their co-payments. And I've gone through with a, a fine comb of the list that you gave me here. And there seems to be mad discrepancies. I didn't say mad, but I said there seems to be <laughs> quite a few discrepancies, and it seems like it's not a few, it's every single item on your <laughs> list. So I just want to call and confirm uh, where was the miscommunication at. And you could feel her, like, squirm, like, oh, well, let me uh, let me look into that. I don't know why that could have happened. Uh, and she's like, oh, we thought you were on this plan. Okay. Oh. I'm like, oh. Sure. Sure you were. Yeah. <laughs> sure you were. 
And I just, I'm not going back to them, obviously, but I just, but I'm now, so glad I, justice. yeah, I walked in there uneducated. I'm so glad I didn't just pull the trigger because it would have been very easy to be like, you know what? I haven't been in the dentist for 10 years. This is the price I pay. Yeah. It's going to be expensive. But that bitch, dude. You showed them. Now you got to pay off your, your tickets. I can't wait. <laughs> Yeah. If you enjoyed this content, be sure to check out the Standing Still podcast both here on YouTube and wherever else you listen to podcasts.